Cole Stringer's book, 800 Horsemen, talks about the Australian Light Horse, Mounted Infantry, who fought against the Turks in the Middle East during the First World War. The Australians and New Zealanders were especially effective in liberating Palestine. Cole Stringer focuses on the promise that God gave to Abraham, And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Genesis chapter 12 verse 3. Australia, he argues, has been blessed because we helped Abraham's descendants. He links this with a prophecy by Smith Wigglesworth, which states that the outpouring of the Spirit should come to Australia. Except, we don't know if Smith Wigglesworth even said this prophecy. See Acts chapter 2 verse 17 and 39. And Cole Stringer also links to the mistaken idea that a Roman Catholic named Australia to be the great south land of the Holy Spirit. This is actually a deception because de Quiros was a fanatic who hated Protestantism, who named a small island in the Pacific by that title, and it has nothing at all to do with Australia's prophetic destiny. Sadly, many Pentecostals agree with the Pope's claims on this issue, but it is entirely misguided for them to do so. If we take the biblical view we should soon see that while God has a special place for the Jews, he also has an important role for believers. According to Galatians 3, it is the Christian who has the blessing, so we do not have to get the blessing from the Jews. We already have the blessing. Furthermore, the Bible says that the Jews are in darkness and need to be born again. Thus, unless they join with us, they are not in any special position. However, we know that they must join with us because the Bible says that Israel shall be saved. Thus, we should not be ashamed of our word of faith Pentecostal tradition and act as if the Jews have some special blessing or more light on the scripture than we do. Cole Stringer says that Australia has a place in God's plan, but he hardly recognizes what it is. Australia is not called as such to be the great south land of the Holy Spirit. If we look at scripture, we find out some real promises which are far more excellent. 1. God's true word must be established in Australia, New Zealand, etc. And the isles shall wait for his law, Isaiah 42 verse 4b. 2. There must be a restoration of the knowledge of the scripture and the increase of true Christianity in Australia, New Zealand, etc. All the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the Lord. Psalm 22 verse 27a. Look unto me and be ye saved all the ends of the earth. Isaiah 45 verse 22a. 3. Pentecostals with the King James Bible in English preach to the Jews. For with stammering lips and another tongue will he speak to this people. Isaiah 28 verse 11. 4. The people of God must reach the Jews, and the Jews shall be converted. I will provoke you to jealousy by them that are no people, and by a foolish nation I will anger you, Romans 10 verse 19b, and that through your mercy they also may obtain mercy, Romans 11 verse 31b. How is it that some people who call themselves Word of Faith Pentecostals, who should be on the cutting edge of scripture and prophecy, are rushing after Jewish fables and Hebrew mysteries rather than converting the Jews to our spiritual refreshing. While Cole Stringer also wastes time praising the Knights of Malta and Napoleon, he does honour those men who served our nation, and he does recognise that unless Israel exists as a nation, there would be no way to fulfil various prophecies.